Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm very excited to try this new Lancome Mattifying Primer. It says Prep and Matte, Refreshing Mattifying Makeup Primer All Day Hydration. On the packaging it says, make no comprom compromise with this mattifying primer that provides a long lasting matte finish while taking care of your skin. This formula refines skin texture and minimizes the appearance of the pores to help improve foundation, wear and control shine all day. Its lightweight texture provides an instant fresh feeling and all day hydration for all skin types, including sensitive, sensitive skin. So this is how the outside packaging looks like. This is how the actual primer looks like. Now I have swatched it. But I haven't tried it, haven't used it, so I'm going to use the, this today. You probably hear my children screaming in the room next to mine. So guys, I think you probably think I look like a disaster, but I am. I'm not feeling very well. I have a cold and I, have, I didn't sleep good last night, so I'm very tired. And I'm, I, I'm sneezing and coughing a lot today, so I have a cold. That is why I don't look fresh. <laughs> But I really want to try uh, this primer, so I'm going to try it today, but I'm not going to wear a lot of makeup. I'm only going to have some mascara, foundation, a little bit of bronzer, blush, that's it. I'm going to visit my sister today, so I don't feel good, so I don't want to do this nice glam makeup look. The other one, Mattifying Primer, that I really like, and it's very po popular here in Sweden, it's Mattifying Primer from Kix. This is smooth. Uneven skin tone, antioxidant and vitamin enriched. Also the a soft skin primer that can be used alone or around the makeup that visibly smooths the skin surface. The former consists of vitamins and anti, uh, antioxidants that refine skin texture and reduces imperfection. Creates a satin soft finish, makeup glides on more easily and color lasts longer. So this is a mattifying, this is a mattifying. They say both of them is supposed to Mattify make the make the face look more even and smoother. So I'm very excited to see this is more expensive than this one So it will be good to compare these two. So if you want to see how this is going to work for me, please keep on watching So I'm going to start with this primer and I'm going to put it on this part of my skin and I already moisturized my its face this is but white, I don't know how much to use. It smells nice. It feels like a perfumey, perfumey smell, but it's not so strong. Oh, it, it feels uh, thick. When, when I uh, applied it first, it really felt very light, but while I was rubbing it into the skin, it kind of mattified. I don't know. So right now I do feel like this is a little more matte and then this side, but I still see my pores. I can't see if it's even my skin tone. I do not think so, but it feels light on the skin. Let's try this primer from Kix on the other side. This is more like a, oh, I don't like the smell of this one, but it's more like silicone primer. Right now, I can't see any difference between these two. If you can see it, but when I look at myself in the mirror right, mirror right now, I can't see any. No, it looks the same. But this one feels more like a moisturizer, and like that, this one feels more like silicone, silicone based primer. I sneezed a couple of times right now. I'm, I'm such a terrible cold. Uh, okay, let's see. No difference. My, I can still see my pores in, on both sides. My skin looks a little bit more matte than it was before, but so far it looks okay. I'm going to use the foundation that I've used a couple of these last weeks. Milani, shade 4 and 8. I'm going to mix these shades. I'm going to go with that foundation just because I use it every day when I go to work. So I want to see what primer feels better and looks better.
So I'm going to use a little bit of this bronzer and blush just to warm up more my skin a little bit more and I'm going to use uh, this blush here oh that was a little bit too much so I'm going to set everything and I am going to use my matte fix plus all of my skin and it's because I really like this this spray and I've been using it for months and I do like it but it doesn't really keep my oils in place the whole day and uh, so guys it's now almost one o'clock and I'm going to have this foundation, foundation, this makeup on as long as I can. Uh, so on this side, we do have the new Lancome Prep and Matte. On this side, we do have Mattifying Primer from Kix. They bo both supposed to make skin look more hydrated, keeps the skin look, uh, look matte, blurred, poor feeling, long lasting. So we'll see how this is going to work. Hi guys, I'm back and it's now uh, almost half 10 at night and I've been having this foundation for around 8-9 hours. So let's remove my glasses and see which side we prefer. I do look like a raccoon because this, this mascara transferred down here a lot. I didn't bake, usually when I bake it doesn't get this messy but I'm so tired can't even keep my eyes open right now and if you probably can hear I have such a cold that I'm losing my voice now when I look at my foundation I can see that I didn't uh, retouch it I didn't powder I didn't do anything I did eat a lot so and I wiped my nose a couple of times so the foundation looks I did remove a little bit but not too much and here on my chin it's almost gone because I've been eating a lot but otherwise I feel like this this side with this primer is less oily or less shiny <clears throat> than this one with this side and my pores are less visible on this side uh, my forehead is looking good I'm not too oily so both primers work for me now I feel like this one feels a little bit better on my skin and I'll be touching my face and it's still there I do like it this side is not bad either so both of them are very good but as you can see this side is just 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 a little bit less oily so guys I think I think both primers worked very very well Maybe it would be better if I did try this without any other primer on the other side of my face. But I really, really wanted to compare these two because I wanted to see which one I would like more. For the results, I love both of them, but this one feels a little bit less silicone-y and uh, light on the skin. But this one is also pretty good, so I like both of them. But this one is a little bit better on making the skin look... Uh, less oily so I kind of prefer this one but it worked fine I don't know what to say this one isn't bad either I like both of them I kind of like this one just just a little bit a li little bit more so guys that was everything I had for you today if you like this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and see you in my next video bye